Hey YouTube, this is Robonats1 here, and I'm here to review Gotham Episode 9, Harvey Dent. Um, this episode finally brings together Selena and Bruce, who share a lot of screen together in this um, episode. Um, we also see Fish hire a bomber in need of medical treatment. And she uses um, this bomber to attack Falcone. Whilst, whilst meanwhile, Penguin continues to investigate Fish's campaigns. Um, the, the episode also introduces Harvey Dent into the story, who investigates um, the Wayne murder with with Jim Gordon. Um, Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle together in this episode were so cute. Um, especially the scene where we see them having a food fight. I thought that scene was just adorable. It was my favourite scene out of the entire episode. Both are, are very good child actors and have done amazingly well in in these iconic roles. I love seeing Bruce and, Sla and Selena start out as childhood friends. I'm a huge fan of these two characters and their relationships in the comics and look forward to seeing their relationship develop here as a, you know, develop here in this show. I think it's an interesting way of introducing these two characters. Their initial meetup is interesting as they... And I also find it interesting that at first, when they meet up, they don't get along. Um, and Selena also addresses herself as Selena, not as Cat, um, like she introduces other people. I think the reason why Selena introduces herself as Selena Kyle to Bruce is it sort of makes her trust, um, it sort of seems like she trusts Bruce Wayne, and that because she witnessed, um, the murder of Bruce Wayne's parents, they sort of have this underlying connection to one another. Like, that's where their story began, and and now they're just learning about each other for the first time. And I think um, in this version of Selena, I think this version of Selena is going to know Bruce Wayne quite personally. And I really, really like that idea that this is a Selena Kyle who is going to know Bruce Wayne in a personal, in quite a very deep and intimate personal level. Bruce is quite, and, and I also find it cute that Bruce is quite taken with Tina, because he feels a kindred spirit with her. And Tina also brings out the child in Bruce and reanimates the, ca the character and the actor in some way. In just a unique and fun way. Um, Bruce and Cena are also key witnesses in Dent's case to arrest Lovecraft. Um, who we learn was the rival of Thomas Wayne. Bizarrely, everything in Gotham comes in twos. And everyone seems to have an opposite in this show, which I really, really like. Harvey Dent's first appearance was good. Not mind-blowing, though. But it was good. And um, Dent goes after Lovecraft, who is a rival of Thomas Wayne, believing that... Be believing that to be his connection, it puts Selina into protective custody. And um, Dent... Dent is very determined to bring down... Lovecraft, and which I quite liked. I also liked the fact that um, 
He has this I make my own luck vibe. Um, to his character. Um, I think there's a nice blend between, um, comic book and Nolan going on with, with Harvey Dent. And we get to see some of the, um, psychosis of Two-Face, um, being brought in. And, and we definitely see his obsession with his co coin being touched upon in this episode. And a bomber is introduced in this story. Um, and he's being used. And in turn, the bomber also introduces Blackgate Penit Penitary, Gotham's second prison. And um, this episode raises the, n the need for a mental institute like Arkham Asylum. However, we also see Gotham corrupt the nature of the of the institute. Um, Gotham seems to breed insanity and madness, and I find this fascinating and interesting. Um, this bomber is also used for Fisher's move against Falcone, attacking Falcone at his heart. The bomber is merely a pawn for these sprinting mobs to utilize. Adding to my previous point about Gotham just just breeding insanity for the sake of insanity. Um the episode is was very good and I loved seeing Bruce and Cena together. Um the interesting themes and underplaying tactics are very intriguing. However, I would like the plot to start moving forwards. And I also didn't like Barbara Gordon. So that's my end of the review. I hope you enjoyed the review. And I hope to see you very soon for the next review. Bye.